In this lecture, we will talk about the methods to measure low resistance. How to measure low resistance in the main tilt about a few milliohm? For example, you want to measure the resistance of a piece of wire, resistance of inductor windings, or resistance of a transformer winding. How to do that? In this example, we have a piece of jumper wire about 120 mm long, 22 AWG. How can we measure the resistance? As shown in the picture, we can use digital multimeter or LCR meter. However, the measurement has a large variance. We don't know exactly the resistance. Actually, the problem is that the jumper wire has a comparable resistance as the test leads. This makes the measurement inaccurate. The question is, is there a better way to accurately measure the low resistance? The most convenient solution is to use a milliometer. It has four wire Kelvin connection. One pair of wire provides a current to flow through the resistor and the test. Another pair to measure the voltage drop across the resistor. As a result, the measured resistance equals to the voltage measurement divided by the current measurement. What if you don't have a milliometer? This is another solution using a bench power supply and a digital multimeter. This is the same concept as Kelvin connection in milliohm meters. We need to pass a few amps through the resistor and the test, and we measure the voltage drop across the resistor using a multimeter. Here are the test results. We put the current limit over this DC bench power supply at 3 amps DC. We measure the voltage drop at 2 ends of the wire by digital multimeter. The reading is as 31.966 millivolts. As a result, the wire has resistance about 10 milliohm. I hope you found this lecture interesting and helpful. Thank you and see you next time.